There it is. We're kicking off Jan. You ready? The series, a week focused on nutrition and diet. To start off right now, we've got uh, an amazing superfoods specialist here, New York Times best-selling author of Eat to Beat Disease, Dr. William Lee. Dr. Lee, you come with good news. Let's get right into it. What should we be eating? All right, it's 2021, let's boost our health. The Eat to Beat disease, we'll start with dark colored foods, which are good for your circulation and your immunity, help fight belly fat. We're now moving on to tea, actually, which is really great for you as well. Green tea, black tea, matcha, okay. actually lowers inflammation. Okay. Mushrooms, one of my favorites, uh, got great Some fiber. Some people are afraid of mushrooms, though. I'm not afraid of mushrooms at all. They're right. actually good for you. The fiber is also in the stem, it's a pro tip. Chocolate, who doesn't want to start a year off that with great good. chocolate? One of my favorites. Piece of chocolate actually lowers inflammation, but boosts immunity at the so same time. a piece time. a day? Just a piece a day. Yeah, one, one square. Good news. Uh, let's go to tomatoes, which contain lycopene and vitamin C, also good for our immune system. Some people avoid tomatoes because of the acidity. You know, that's an urban legend. Uh, cook them with a little olive oil. It lowers the risk of prostate cancer and breast cancer is what the research actually shows. Figs. Dried figs, fresh figs, full of fiber, good for our gut microbiome and good for our health. And one of my favorites, the seafood platter, salmon, omega-3 fatty acids. But if you're sick of eating salmon every single day, like I sometimes am, shellfish is the secret to omega-3 fatty acids. Saute it with some olive oil, a little garlic, serve it on linguine. Mm. Health can be delicious. And you come with a Christmas gift for me, sardines. Thank you very much. We'll be right back, Kelly and Dr. Lee, to show you more after this. I'm here with Dr. William Lee, who has written an incredible book, Eat to Beat Disease. He's going to share one meal that can activate all of your body's health defense needs. Dr. Lee, take it away. Well, Kelly, thanks very much. I'm going to actually tell you how to actually use a framework that anybody can do. It's not a diet called 5x5x5. Five by five by five. And I want to tell you what it's shorthand for because okay. it's simple. We've got five health defense systems. It's our vascular system of circulation. It's our stem cells. Most people don't realize that we can regenerate from the inside out to be healthier. Our gut health, which everybody knows is our microbiome, our DNA protects us against damage from the environment and our immunity, which is more important than ever before, mm -hmm. five. And what you wanna do is activate them every day, every time you eat. So that's about five times, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a couple of snacks. Okay. Right? Okay, five by five. And every time you eat over the course of the day, try to activate them with five foods, five by five by five. Okay, so t is, 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 there, is it important to eat a certain foods at certain times? You know what, you can actually split it up over the course of the day, or if you wanna take care of it in one fell swoop, if you're one of those people that you just wanna be super efficient about it, yeah. I'm gonna actually show you how to actually get it into a healthy, hearty salad. Okay, let's get started, because I want a healthy, hearty salad, and I wanna make this and take it to my dressing room so that Gelman doesn't eat it the second my back is turned. All right, well, so let's do a salad that'd be perfect for lunch or dinner. Perfect. But the key thing is it's plant-based mostly, and it's actually going to be based on whatever you like. Okay. So it's about preferences, right? Okay. So we're gonna start with arugula and kale. We know that bo both of those are actually good for our circulation. We would need better circulation. Mm -hmm. And something you can add to it to actually get good circulation, you can add some broccoli uh, tops, and I just put them in there. Not that people are dating, but if, one were to go on a date. Yeah. This salad is, I think, would make somebody very gassy. No, I don't think so. Well, you know what? You adjust it because everybody's body's different. Put a little celery, good for your blood vessels. Okay. Now, let's move to regeneration, okay? Okay. And what I love is a few cranberry, dried cranberries. You just sprinkle them in there. This is making me very excited because this is how I eat. So you're making a salad that I would eat normally. I'm just validating what you like already that makes making you so Making me very excited. Healthy. A couple of apple peel, uh, apple pieces mm -hmm. actually will actually help your regeneration, your stem cells, keep, this, keep the skin on, that actually yeah. is helpful. Now, you're talking about gut, gut health, your healthy gut bacteria. So here's a couple of things. These are sunflower seeds. Yes. A little light sprinkling on, just kind of like putting your salt and pepper, just a little bit light to give a little flavor. And then I like to use some tongs. Chickpeas, good for your gut as well. Your gut bacteria, healthy bacteria, boosts your immune system, even it affects your brain and your mood. And then you could take a few mushroom slices. Some people love mushrooms, I do. I love mushrooms so good much. Good for your immunity. This is something that we always think about now. Now, you wanna add some protein, okay? Yeah. So, 
Um, here's what I like to do. You can actually add smoked salmon, tuna, tuna pack, light tuna packed in oil. You could put a little bit on there. It's got healthy omega-3 fatty what if you acids. you don't also... like canned fish or smoked fish or, you like, know, what's a good alternative? Listen, I wrote a book, Eat to Beat Disease. It's got 200 different foods. And the key is to choose what you like. It's about your preferences on healthy food. Got it. Right? Yep. Now, for a little flavor bomb, capers actually can actually add some health for your, uh, protect your DNA. And then finally, well, let's go back to the immune system. Hard to get away from that these days. Mm -hmm. Some walnuts I sprinkle on there. Here's some chopped carrots, uh, which mm. I love. Mm. Um, colorful carrots. This is not just orange anymore. Purple, all is great. And let's throw in some, some uh, cherry tomatoes. Ah, uh, so good. Good for your immune system. And now take a look at this. This is actually what I call health on uh, a bowl. Now, yeah. you want to add some olive oil. You can actually add, mix it with some balsamic vinegar or white wine vinegar, mm -hmm. as much as you want, not too much oil, but just kind of dress it up, okay? What about a little lemon wedge? A little lemon would be perfect for some citrus, vitamin C, and then you can actually put a little uh, twist of pepper if you've mm. got that. Yeah. Now, what right here, we also have a mug of tea. So this is what I'm talking about. Health in a bowl. Is this green health tea? Health in a mug. Right this here? is green tea. Yeah, fabulous. Cheers. Cheers to you, Dr. Lee. Thank you very much um, My pleasure. for um, informing us and for making it very simple. And you know what I think? I think you should eat the salad with the tongs because I think it, it would make you like uh, focus more on what you're doing because I think people eat too fast. That's my uh, opinion. That's, that's also true. Don't you enjoy, think? Enjoy your meal. Enjoy your meal. Thank you, Dr. Lee. My pleasure. Appreciate it. Eat to Beat Disease, Dr. William Lee's book. Don't forget to pick it up.